Hello, Bees Bladers. Welcome back. Welcome, newcomers, to the channel. I have a quick budget blade to share with you guys and gals today. It's a $24 banger. It's the Dispatch DP8087. Would you look at it? Just look at it, or should I say, would you observe it? Just observe it. But getting right into the observation mode, or a little bit of texture vision, there's not a whole lot of texture to feel. It does look very nice, but I'd say about a one out of 10. It's pretty slick, but it does have some nice contouring. I'll tell you about the ergos here in just a second. This is a crossbar lock, and here's a look at this side, and it is a truly 100%, it's 100% deep carry. You see none of this knife in your pocket. There are a couple mushrooms growing in the shade and you're you want to see it you ready to see it do you want to see it pow right in the kisser oh yeah look at that check it out now you do have a little bit of branding it's not too hateful it's better if it would be smaller we always discuss that but we're talking about a 24 dollar knife here pretty nice looking stone wash going on and there's your thumb studs nice up and close and personal it does have a nice spring and this spring does a great job of pulling the blade back into the scales and you can see you have full liners going on they are not milled out for for weight it's not a heavy knife at all but then again i guess that depends on who you are this is going to be a good work knife. One to take to work, one to use out in the yard. It's about 4.7 ounces. I don't consider that heavy for a work knife of this caliber with ergos this good. You all know the size of my hand. The ergos on this thing are fantastic. Now overall, your length is 8.25 inches. Your blade is 3.5 inches. Close length 4.8 inches. Your blade stock thickness is 130 thousandths of an inch. Behind the edge is 26 thousandths of an inch. So it's a little beefier. This is going to be more workish knife. And like I said it's 4.7 ounces so this is going to be one you can throw in the truck throw in the tackle box or it could be your first nicer knife your first step up from gas station knife. or you could be somebody like me that likes everything from 15 to who knows sky's the limit now the action on this thing phenomenal look at this it is so easy to use if you hold it down it will suck the blade right back up into the handle it is effortless it is so nice the reverse flip super easy to do with this one i do like here here's a little bit of acoustics for you and here's a couple of size comparisons first up is the qsp penguin you know what i'm gonna say everybody should have a penguin right and here's one we haven't shown in a bit the ganzo d 727m oh yeah we're talking budget i i was asked hey where's the budget knives well you know what i'm gonna deliver you ask and i deliver and here's the Sativian st 110 another good work knife in the budget category and how about the free tiger now you all if you saw my my last video posted before this one right here this is the free tiger ft 20 2103 got a lot of positive comments on this bad boy and last but not least the ef bearfly this is another great ed these are all great budget everyday carry edc knives easy in and out of the pocket good for work good for home good for working in the garden and this particular model it comes in black or the od green now left and right it's absolutely solid now up and down i'm getting a one out of ten i am getting some slight movement up and down but keep in mind we're talking about a knife that costs like it's I think it's $23.99 at the time of this video's posting. Now, I've heard a lot about Dispatch Knives, and I'm going to tell you some things about this one you may or may not know, and you may or may not care about because of the price. Now, here's some here's some observations. Now, up and down, you do have a little bit of movement, and when it's closed, and when I put my finger on here, it has a little bit of uh, some, some type of lash. I don't know if that's a detent lash, but I can feel it move just a If you look here... I could see it move just a little bit before it let go, before it let go, before it lets go. And then, of course, you don't have, well, not of course, but you don't have any sharpening choil. That's another issue. It's whether it's whether it's good or bad for you. It is not a reversible deep carry clip. It does have a lanyard. And, you know, it is, if you like a super deep carry knife, that's all, you, this is all you're going to see coming out of your pocket is just the top of the pocket clip. So that could be a plus. Now, as far as your centering, it is off center just a little bit, a hair to the show side. And let's Let's see if it'll cut a piece of paper hair. Ooh, not too bad. All right. Okay. All right. See, now look, see there. If you just want a simple knife to cut, this one, it did pretty well. It grabbed there once, but it's doing pretty well. All right. Now it's starting to grab. Oh, there we go. 
There we go. Now we're cutting. So not too shabby for a $24 knife. The Ergos are really good. I don't have any hot spots at all. It fits in my hand very well. There is no jimping, but I do have a good grip because of the way the handle is shaped. Normally I like a neutral handle, but this one is not too shabby. And here it is in the reverse, 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 reverse grips, not too bad either. Now, you know, my favorite things about this knife are how well the action is and how well the ergos are in my hand. I have a great purchase on the knife. You've already seen the little nitpicks that I've had about it. And you know, it's 8CR blade steel. I have no problems at all with 8CR. A lot of folks that are knife collectors, they're into knives, they, they don't care for 8CR. I don't mind it at all. It'll last you all day. You come home, hone it up, strop it, sharpen it back up. It's easy to sharpen. It's a great, great. I mean, it is a fantastic steel to start out with. If you are just getting into knives and want a decent blade steel, this 8CR is the way to go. It's so good to learn how to sharpen on. So there is the Dispatch DP8087. I hope you enjoyed checking it out. And if you want to know more about this, join us every Friday night for Bees Blades live at the Hive. All right. Every Friday night, Eastern Time, 8.15 to 11.15 p.m. We'll do knife comparisons. We have the knife cam. We have a lot of fun. Come check Check it out. You can come and lurk if you want to. But until then, go watch this video. You're really going to enjoy that. And until I see you in the chats or the other live streams or at the hive stream, remember, live life in the present, keep a band-aid handy, and don't cut yourself.